Okay, just want to do a quick demonstration using the uh, a homemade fire piston. So what I've got here is uh, just showing basically how to make char cloth. So I used a secrets, an old secrets uh, tin, and just took one of these uh, facial makeup remover things, which is just cotton, just cotton, what they call cotton rounds from these packages here. You can get them at the drugstore, um, and just put one of these inside of uh, the uh, Tin and put it over flame or fire, or whatever, to, to heat it up, and then what you get is something like this, which turns into char cloth. So I've already used some of it, but uh, just a quick uh, understanding of at least one way of making char cloth. And then I've got my fire piston here, which is one I made actually not too long ago uh, from a little fire piston challenge um, that was on the survivaltopics.com web forum. And I, I did have to remake it a little bit. I made it a little bit longer and, and, and made a different piston in order to get a better seal on the uh, on the rubber ring, the O-ring. And this thing here is, uh, this is actually something I got from, uh, I did purchase a, a fire piston a couple of years ago actually, and this kind of came with it. This is something called a tinder box. And I just want to go over this real quick. Uh, or. It's tinderbox slash uh, flame maker, and apparently you got this little plus sign thing in the middle here. And apparently, what you're supposed to do is be able to, to uh, use the fire piston with the tar cloth, and and once you got a, a a glow on the tar cloth or ember, then you would put it inside this little plus or X or however you want to look at it, and and then you blow into it, and then inside of this container is uh, pretty much wood debris it off here so and all it is is pretty much just uh, um, to come out here sawdust and and wood mulch just you know by and large just wood debris just dead grass and, and all kinds of other stuff in here and that's really it just um, there's a wooden bottom to this it's just spray painted black uh, that's just screwed into the bottom of this round tin and I guess the wooden base is really just to kind of serve as an insulator so I don't burn my fingers holding this thing while I'm um, using uh, or trying to blow the ember into a flame through this little plus hole here. So basically how it works is with all this debris in here, it's all compressed and compact. And right by this plus sign you would actually tuck some more uh, char cloth inside this plus hole. And then once you get an ember going with the fire piston, and then you would put that glowing ember in, into this plus hole and then blow onto it and then what it would do is is uh, start to uh, get this uh, debris that's kind of compressed or compact in here uh, to also uh, start to catch fire be, you know become a charcoal and what you would do is with the lid off blowing into this little plus sign um, it would uh, you could actually blow the, the this this wood debris into a flame and then this would help as far as a, a stage one type tinder. So this is the first time I've seen this and I've looked on the web and haven't seen much um, reference to it. So I figured I'd just do a quick video just mentioning it um, and kind of showing at least another understanding of a way of making fire. So I'll uh, put this back together and get a fire piston going and get a, a coal and we'll give it a try. Right, got my uh Char cloth on the end here. Got a glow. Just gonna take it and drop it into the end of my uh, tin box. A little bit windy out, so let's see how this is going to work. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow my uh, coal away here. The object here is to 
get the tar cloth that's just on the inside of this plus to also take Blow on it hard enough. Yeah. Apple lost my coal. All right, wind. Try this again. Alright, got it going. Right. I'm gonna take do is take the lid off. Keep blowing into the hole. And we get some flame. So we use this tinderbox flame maker to at least get a flame going so that you can you can then get uh, dead grass or dead leaves or pine needles or like a second stage tinder to then catch. Get a good heat core going. Get some coals. Blow that into a flame to get it to be, be a big fire, bigger fire. One more thing, just to mention, at least with this uh, tinderbox uh, flame maker concept, um, it did cross my mind to, to think that this could be used as a coal extender. I uh, did try it a couple times yesterday and it didn't do so well, so I, uh, chances are it's probably not the best. I guess the wood debris that I have in there isn't working out well as far as uh, trying to use it as a coal extender to where I could travel with this and, and at least keep a coal going so that I uh, could potentially blow it into a flame wherever I go, uh, uh, to, you know, when I'm ready to make another fire. So. Uh, anyway, just uh, it possibly could be used as a coal extender, but I have not had luck with it since at least a couple of times that I tried.